uh, today is Tuesday of week seven, and so uh, I hope your Tuesday is blessed uh, in many different ways. Uh, today we have uh, f with us, uh, f uh, as we're reading the Psalms, of Psalm 104, and uh, this is a long one, so I'm just going to read uh, verses 1 and 2 and then begin at verse uh, 24. So um, let's get into this. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a tent. And then the, the psalm then continues to go on uh, with the creative order that God has, uh, has brought about. And he ends this way in verse 24. He says, O Lord, how manifest are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures innumerable, living things, both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you form to play in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their, to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have, have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. So, uh, I mean, this is, it's just a, another another psalm that just you know acknowledges that God is in control and uh, I, I read recently uh, something about the monarch butterfly um, this thing that I read it says they can travel 3,000 miles on its on its migration to Central America only to end up at the same tree its parents or even grandparents landed on a generation or two earlier it does this guided by a brain the size of a pinhead. Then it goes on to say that, that monarchs, the meta metamorphosis process is extraordinary. The caterpillar builds a, a chrysalis around itself. It releases a chemical that turns its insides into mush. And there are no perceivable parts. It's just liquid. But then that liquid, over time, emerges into a brain, internal parts, hands, head, legs, uh, wings of the, and wings of the butterfly. An expert says that the, 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 just this process in itself is a miracle, uh, that, uh, that there's, there's really no other like it uh, in terms of how this metamorphosis process works from mush to a creature um, and I, and as I was as I was reading that I was like and that is, is just so cool that God even a monarch butterfly with a brain the size of a pinhead uh, you know returns can can go 3,000 miles and return to the same tree that it's that it was it was either born in or 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 its grandparents were a part of. Um, it, it's just fascinating. But then the metamorphosis is is beyond that uh, in in a lot of description. Um, and 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 in verse twenty four it says, "Oh, oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures." You know. I, 
in a day like this, I don't know if you get to go on walks or not, but I, I would just I would just say to you today, um, whatever whenever you're watching this, or go outside and just kind of look around and and see. Uh, just take a moment to kind of meditate on on what you're seeing, the the beauty of everything around you. Um, it is a it is a true testimony of of who God is, and and we really in, in times like this, it's easy to to overlook things like that because our anxieties and our worries are are deep, uh, especially in a pandemic like this, and so. Um, I, you know, I just, I, just encouraging you to just kind of pause for a minute and just walk outside and just look around, listen and see, uh, and just relish in the fact that, that God is the creator of it all and he is in control. He's in control of your life. He's in control of my life and he's in control of this pandemic. And so may we praise him this day. So be blessed and be a blessing. Till the next time.